Hey, good morning. So today is Valentine's. So we're gonna have a special workout for all you lovebirds out there. The message is gonna be pretty simple. The faith message is gonna talk about, matter of fact, let's just do it right now. So faith, love. Since today is Valentine's, let's talk about love for a moment. So in the Bible, it talks about the number one commandment out of all the commandments is to what? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. If you do those two things, everything else in your life will be that much better. Simple. If you love your neighbor, you don't kill them, you don't steal from them, you don't rob them, you don't embezzle money from them. Love is like a, it's a term. I remember when I first met my wife, we tried not to say I love you on purpose. Why? It's kind of crazy, but I'll tell you why. Because love somehow or some way seems to wither away over time. And what we love today is not always what we love tomorrow because what we, what's important to us today is not always important to us tomorrow. Once we independently and collectively accomplish something in our lives that we're love, loving at the time or passionate about, um, in due season, if you don't protect that, that love goes away. So I remember in the beginning, my wife and I tried to create some new word or some new way of saying I love you. And of course, there's no better word that I could come up with or we can come up with to let each other know we love her. But we did one thing that was the common denominator that changed everything for our 17 year relationship. Uh, we said no matter what, on Sundays we're gonna put God first and we're gonna go to church regardless of what Saturday night held, if we went out with friends or not or whatever, uh, even if we stayed out to three o'clock in the morning, uh, we said that we're going to make a commitment. We're going to be committed, not inspired. Commitment, inspiration gets you started. Commitment gets you through. So we both said that no matter what, on Sundays we're going to go to church. So I remember we would go out at 2 o'clock in the morning and the alarm goes off. We don't want to go, but we made a commitment. We get up and go to church. And what happened was, see what happened was, Slowly but surely, the Word of God, by just exposing ourselves to it, helped change us. Slowly but surely, we, instead of staying out to 2 o'clock in the morning, we stayed out to 1, and then 1 to 12, and then 12 was like, oh, let's just go next weekend. And, and what was important that day wasn't important the next day. And if you're willing to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, you'll put him as a priority and you'll make a commitment to go at least try to find a church home in a community that you can relate to. Everyone's different, Catholic, Baptist. I like Christian non-denominational, you know, base, basic come as you are, no judgmental, come love on people and go home and become a better community. So that's what we did, and 17 years later, what we've come to know is that if we love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, we love our neighbors as we love ourselves, our lives have been so much more uh, fulfilled. And that's, a, and that's not a, uh, a statement I take lightly. I believe that if you're not willing to commit to change, and to sacrifice your time for God's time, uh, don't expect him to always answer your prayers. Look, I'm not saying if you, no one, everyone says, oh, I don't, you know, I, I love God, I, I don't need to go to church. No, you don't need to go to church. But the Bible says, do not forsake the assembling of my people, which means that you should go to church, you should find a church home, and you should be able to connect with people because there's a blessing on the other side of that.
God says, you put me first and then I will connect you with the right people. I will open up the doors of heaven and pour out blessings that you do not have room to contain. So today on Valentine's Day, will you love the Lord your God with all your heart? The way that you love the person, your king or queen, your male or female person, whichever it is that you do love. Will you learn to put God first? Let God change you. Don't worry about people. Just come as you are. Show up. And slowly but surely, I guarantee you, I'm a living testimony that God can change me. He can definitely change you. Love, love, love. Enjoy today's Valentine's workout for all those special people. I am going to sacrifice my body in faith hoping that you would join me, not only in the workout, but also at church, regardless of where you're at. When I was in Iraq, I went to church. Wherever you're at, in California, Louisiana, New York, find a church family, get connected, put God first, and he will give you the desires of your heart. God bless. Enjoy the workout, and thank you for listening to the faith fitness family and friends hey what's up guys so we're gonna do the valentine workout and we are going to do the deck of cards we have obviously with the deck of cards you have two bonuses which are which are the jokers and when we get to the jokers i'll explain what we're gonna do so clubs is gonna be upper body so if i flip a two i'm gonna do two of an upper body exercise i got four different upper body exercises four different lower body four abs and four full body and i'm going to try to keep my rotation with that so if i draw a upper body and i do four and then i draw an upper body again i will make sure that the next exercise that i do for the upper body is not the exact same exercise we just did so just to bring in some uh variety and so the so the clubs is going to be upper body spades are going to be lower body diamonds are going to be abdominal and the heart will be full body for Valentine's. So with that being said, when we get to the Joker, we will do 10 of each one. So if we get to a Joker, um, I flip a Joker, I'm going to do 10 upper body, 10 lower body, 10 ab, and 10 full body. And that will ensure that I get 40 reps of whatever that is whatever uh i'll get the 40 reps twice ex at least during a workout where it's consistent with upper body lower body abdominal full body so hopefully you guys understand that so let me just quickly go through upper body it's going to be earthquake push-ups decline push-ups alternating ball push-ups and dip knee ups and then uh, for lower body we got 180 squat jump so we got jump lunge jump lunge squat jump um we also have uh squat jump ups where we're going to squat down, jump up on the box, and then single single leg uh, squats. It's going to be a little challenge to, to do the single legs, but don't let what you can't do stop it from what you can. For the abs, we've got pl uh, abs, plank in and outs, plank ski-ups, double leg lift thrust-ups, circus sit-ups. And for the full body, we have uh, bodybuilders, a.k.a. burpees, 180 bodybuilders, bodybuilder donkey kicks and bodybuilder in and outs so with that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed today's workout don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do and hopefully when we get through the cards we will do this all the cards or until we reach 30 minutes okay all right see you in a second all right here we go <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are ready for the workout. 54 cards, the 52 regular cards plus two jokers. And the very first one will be a seven of clubs. Clubs, upper body, very first one, earthquake push-ups. Easy day. So we're gonna do a total of seven. Here we go. Three, two, one, earthquake push-up. Touch the back of your head, earthquake up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Easy day. Oh, Nana Club. So, just like I said earlier, we will not do the exact same exercise. Just happen to draw a club. So we got decline push-ups. Now I got nine. Put my feet up on the box. Time to go to work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Spade. Spades and lower body. 180 squat jumps. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of diamond, plank in and out. Sure, a lot of eights back to back, huh? Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. See what we got here. I want to keep them spread out. Four spade. So for that, we got jump lunge, jump lunge, squat jump. That equals one. Here we go. Jump lunge, jump lunge, squat jump. Once I get my rhythm, we'll crank up the intensity. King. So when you get the kings, spade, lower body. So our next one's gonna be squat, jump ups. Squat down on the box, jump up. A king is worth, for today, a king is worth 13. Aces. Or Six spade, lower body, single leg squat. So, for the tip here, what we're gonna do for the single leg squats, 80% of all the weight on one leg, 20% or less on an alternative leg. So I'm gonna start off with the left, left leg, knock out six, then switch it over, knock out six. Ready? Three, two, one, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This extra leg is just like a kickstand. Makes it a little bit easier. It's not a full single leg squat, but you understand the point. Seven spade. All right, so we're back to 180 squat jumps. Here you go. Ready? Begin.
three diamond, abdominal. All right, we got ski ups. Three per side. <clears throat> three, two, one. Six club, upper body. Uh, I think we got dip knee, dip knee ups. So check this out. Find something. When you dip, you bring your knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try to take your knee as close to your chest as possible. Spades, lower body. Jump lunge, jump lunge, squat jump, jack. That's good for a total of 11. Five, four, three, two, go. One, two, three, four. Five club. We already did, it. so we're down to earthquake push-ups. Total of five. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five. Ace of diamond. Abdominal. Good for fourteen. Let's see what we got. Double leg lifts, thrust ups. We're gonna double lift, lift our legs up. I'm gonna thrust our feet high in the sky. the first ace nine and diamond abdominal what do we got circus sit-ups total of nine it's probably one of my favorite ab exercises because it's freaking crazy so try to thrust up without hands That one doesn't count. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. A good way to do that exercise is if you're working out with a partner, they hold your legs like regular sit-ups, but instead of just sitting up, you sit up, then stand up. That makes it a little bit harder. Nine of spades. The last one we did was what? Single leg squats. Now I think we're back to 180. Total of nine. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We haven't hit a heart yet. Ding, ding, ding. We got six of heart. First one's gonna be regular bodybuilders, AKA burpees. Easy sets. No harm. No foul. Ready? Two. over here that way whatever's active I look down and only see one diamond we just did circus sit up so now we're back to planking and out yeah plank position bring your butt down Three club. Sorry, I got something in my. I think we got decline push ups. Three. I'm gonna make it a little bit more challenging. We're gonna go diamond. You don't have to. You can do whatever the hell you wanna do. It's America. Two. Three. We got a king of club. That's good for 13. Upper body. Yeah, oh yeah, I think I missed this one earlier. Matter of fact, I did, I skipped it, but it's okay. Perfect time, 13 push-ups. Moving the ball side to side. Making life a little challenge. Here we go. Ah, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. King of heart. That's good for 14 bodybuilders. And it's gonna be 180 bodybuilders. 14, 13, three. If you notice, I always hang low. I feel like it gives me a good stretch before I pop my feet out. You should try it. Because what happens is when you're going super fast, you start tightening it up. This gives you a stretch and then pop down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven.
13. Hard again. Nine. Oh, we got bodybuilder with a donkey kick. So we're gonna bodybuilder down. Instead of doing a push up at the bottom, we're gonna donkey kick our feet up. Pop down, pop back, pop up. One, two. That one didn't count, that's a modify. Five. If you got a modify, modify. Six. Seven. I thought I was gonna go over. Ace of spade, that's good for 14 lower body exercises. And I think the last one I did was 180s. So we got jump lunge, jump lunge, squat jump. If I get off course, oh freaking well. my knees so I just modify 10 or 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 14, diamond, so what we did last for abs, planking and outs, ski ups, I think it's ski ups. Queen, good for 12, baby. Just to make it interesting, 12 per side. About halfway through, I'm gonna be like, what the hell were you thinking? right. What the hell are you doing, Michael? You act like you're in your 20s or something. Two a diamond. Back to abs. We got double leg lift. 
thrust ups. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ready, begin. One. Two. Eight o'clock. Let's see what we got. Club, upper body. What did we do last? I think we did the ball. Here we go. Eight dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see, we're already 20, about 21 minutes into it, 22 minutes. My watch stopped. Seven hearts, full body, bodybuilders. We just did donkey kicks, so it's no, and then now it's gonna be in and outs for a total of seven. So, for the bodybuilders, so right here, we're gonna pop out. And then, when we pop out, we do the push-up. And then we come back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So basically, your bodybuilder down seven in and out push ups and then pop back up. Ten and diamond, my favorite circus sit ups. Call circus because it doesn't make sense. You can call them whatever the hell you want to call them. You can call them, ain't your mama wish she can sit up? Ah! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. The closer you keep your feet, the harder it is to get up. Forgot what damn number I'm on now. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. The thing I like about this workout is just consistent. Just when you catch a little breath, you're back at it. Queen of Club, that's good for a total of 12 upper body. And I think we're back to earthquake push ups. For a total of 12. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, what do we got? Ten of hearts, baby. Bodybuilders. Regular bodybuilders. Wow. 
Ready? Three, two, one. Stretch, go. Four diamond. Let's see what we got. Ab. What was the last one we did? Circus sit ups. All right. Four plank in and outs. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna slow these down on purpose. One, two, three, four. A little extra bonus. Jack of heart, baby. That's good for 11 bodybuilders. 180s. Five, four, three, two, one, begin. Ten. One more. Eleven. Time for one more. Four to thirty minutes is up. Six. Diamond. Ab exercise. Ski ups. Six per side. Here we go. Five. Four. Three, two, one, go. And just for motivational sake, let's see what we got here. King of Diamonds. Let's go. I'm gonna go for the hardest one out of three. Two a heart. Ten a spade. How about this? How about since I didn't hit the Joker, we're gonna do ten of every single one, and I'm gonna pick the hardest one for the upper body, lower body, abdominal, full body out of these exercises, and we're gonna do ten each, and then we're done. You with me? Heart rate's up. Now it's time to burn some fat for fuel. Your body's starving for energy. So where does it go? Once you deplete all the glyco glycogen and glucose, where does it go? It goes to your fat stores, converts it into energy. All right, so for upper body, the hard one's going to be 
Uh, let's go alternating ball decline push-ups. Ooh, that wasn't on the list, but I combined them. Then we got 180, squat, jump. We're gonna do jump lunge, jump lunge, squat jump, 180. Jump lunge, jump lunge, squat jump, 180. Combine in two to make it a more extreme. Then we got abs. We're gonna do plank in, in, left, in, right, in, left. We're gonna go basically combine the two instead of just doing ski ups. Now we're gonna do plank in and out and ski ups all together for a total of 10. And then for the full body, what we got? We're gonna go with a 180 bodybuilder uh, with a push up and then a donkey kick. Oh, yeah, baby. <sighs> if it ain't hard, remember this it's not worth your freaking time. I gotta wear two freaking. So, like, I gotta wear my bandana and my hat because I sweat so freaking much. And it's kind of muggy, too. Woo! All right, here we go. Decline ball, alternating push ups. Total of 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, what do we got? Jump lunge, jump lunge, squat, 180. I'm soaking wet. I'm so wet, I turn blue. I know, it's cheesy. It's all right. I'm just trying to keep you in the game. If you're watching this just to watch it, rewind, do it again. But this time, do it with me. Ready? Go. One, two. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Blanking and out ski ups. So I'm gonna start off on the left side. I'm gonna ski up to the left, center, right, left, center, right, left, center, right. So left, center, right equals one. Ready? Begin. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feel like a recruit. Eight. Two more. Nine. One, two, three, and 
Down to the last one. Let me grab a sip of water. Bodybuilder with a push up with the one with the donkey kick. I think it was 180 bodybuilders with a donkey kick. Oh, yeah, this is gonna hurt. First and two, we're gonna go slow so you get the format. Five. Halfway. Six. Eight, two more. Family friends portion for today. It's pretty simple. Today's Valentine's. Put your freaking differences aside and at least let that person know that you love them. That way, in case something happens to you or them, you don't pass on for decades to come personal and professional problems because you weren't willing to humble yourself. Family and friends are more important than anyone around you. Yes, do you have other friends that become your family? Absolutely. But this is an opportunity for you to humble yourself, to let the people that you know, that you love, that you love them. God bless, simplify, happy Valentine's Day. Remember, don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do. Failure is always inevitable. Progress is always optional. Fail forward. God bless, simplify. Stessar Nichols, happy Valentine's Day.